Yasamate Nandana Braja Bharana Kara Gokula Ranjana Kahana Yasamate Nandana Braja Bharana Jatamati Nandana Braja Bharana Gara Gokula Ranjana Khana Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Yeah. 
Bhakti is described as being the top of the yoga ladder. There's a ladder of yoga. Climb up the ladder. You know, people are all anxious to climb the ladder. They go to school and then they want to go to college. And then after college they want to do post-grad and then they want to get the job and they want to get in the company and they want to get promotion and they want to become the director and then they want to become the big boss 
It's all going up the ladder. They're all trying to go up the ladder. But did you ever play that game Snakes and Ladders? You know Snakes and Ladders? So you, you go up the ladders and down the snakes, right? Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Could you translate one? Uh, snake and ladder game, Tariyalongalakala. Okay. Well, I'll begin again or what? Carry on, carry on. Yeah. Okay, so I was asking, every, every, you all know snakes and ladders? You all played the game? What happens? You go up the ladders and down the snakes, right? Mm -hmm. So material life is like that. Sometimes you, you go up the ladder, it's a lot of work, a lot of struggle to go up the ladder. It's very easy to go down the snakes. Just like getting knowledge, it, it's a, it, there's two processes. One is to, the ascending, the other is the descending. So you get knowledge ascending process. It's like you want to know who is your father. Are you my father? Are you my father? Are you my and you go all the men, it's a lot of work. You may never find your father. But you want to know who is your father, the easy way is, Mama, Ama, who is my father? And the, and the mother should know who is the father. If the mother doesn't know who is the father, then you're very unfortunate. <laughs> right? Does your mother know who is your father? <laughs> ah. So, the same way, we want to know, if we want to know who is God, we want to find out who is God, we can try so many different processes, we can go here, go there, ask this person, are you God, are you God? But if we want to know who is God, easy way to know, ask the mother. The mother is the Vedas. Vedas are like the mother. Ah, the Vedas can tell us who is the father. So th that this is actually yoga to bring us to connect to the Supreme, the, the Supreme Father of all living entities. So we, so we have to ask people nowadays, do you believe in God? You believe in God? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you believe in Him? you ever seen Him? 
process, logical. So who can tell me? Yara la sanu madiyam. In the case we can. Yeah, why you believe in God? Okay. Yeah. Chasing his hand. Kadeva illa mo alagu mo vai kai. Uh, without the, the God, the world wouldn't have exist. The world of what? Without God, the world would not exist. The world, the material universe. Why, why, why you say that? Yeah, but it's all right. Have you ever seen God? How do you know there must be God? Yeah, but it's all right. Okay, man, can not create God in my man cannot create world, only God can create world. Wow! No, it's just nature, it's just here. No, it's just nature, it's just here. God's nature. God's nature. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? No, it's just here, it's just here, it's just here, it's just here. If there's a God, why would he make the world so bad? You know, there's so many things wrong in the world. It means it's not a very perfect God. If there's a God, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? He made a planet where there's so many things wrong. You get earthquakes, you get famines. There's, it's so terrible sometimes, it's so hot sometimes, it's so cold sometimes. What kind of God is this? He's a hopeless God. Your God is a hopeless God. Why did he bother making this place? So hopeless. Because we are trying to enjoy separately from Krishna, from God. So if we enjoy separately from God, we will suffer. Number. Tani pata nani le number bande enjoy pana pakar nalda bande Krishna nambari bola kita parichar kare. Number Krishna le send number bande enjoy pana pakar nambari parichar negalar kare. That is just you're just speaking philosophy. Has no meaning. Ni semua tatu tu pesan kita le dah tu. Just the useless words you're speaking about. I want proof. If there's a God, I want to see Him. I I suggest you buy a Bhagavad Gita. I suggest you buy a Bhagavad Gita. You buy a Bhagavad Gita. You buy a Bhagavad Gita. What am I supposed to do with the Bhagavad Gita? The Bhagavad Gita, I don't say you know. Read and try and understand. And the Padichu Purichu Bhagavad Gita. Then you'll know God. Apo Kadol Yarnu Bhagavad Gita. Have you read it? Have you read it? Have you read it? Have you read it? Oh, you did Bhagavad Gita. No, do it. Doing. Okay, I'm doing Bhakti Sasri. So, so do you know God? I don't know God, but I believe in the existence of God. Why? Why do you believe in the existence of God? Just a blind follower. Because some other people believe in God, so you believe in God. You've never seen God. You tell me to read the Bhagavad Gita. You never read it yourself. <laughs> She said because there's nature and there's you know the material laws like we die so these things indicate there's a lawmaker or artist behind the beauty of nature. In the world, there's a lot of area that the year ke year ke the year ke some kind of that the nature certain things that are there. Apna yar the certain things that are there. Karun the karun the certain things that are there. Year ke the certain things that are there. Year ke the certain things that are there. Well, this is all coming about. This is just due to chemicals. They react together. God made the chemicals react. 
கடவுள் தான் ரசாயனங்களை ஒன்றா சேர்த்தாரு பாக்கணும் <laughs> 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 The doctors never found any god in the hearts when they do heart transplants they never saw any god martha vadigal heart operation pannum bodhu avanga vetti paakum bodhu nenju vetti paakum endu kadavane avanga paakkaliye why we should believe in god yen nam kadavul mela nambike vikkano yen kadavula nambano you should join the atheist society ningala vande naathika vadiyoda yekathile ningala seranu எல்லாமே வந்து இந்த மாதிரி பிக் பேங்க் இருந்து வந்ததுன்னு நம்ம வந்து யோசிக்கிறது வந்து அது வந்து அறிவாளித்தனம் இல்ல Well it's very irrational to think everything comes from some person we never saw. And you tell me he's a little boy who plays the flute with a peacock feather. You th- you think big bang is irrational. What about the boy with the peacock feather? Is that rational? எல்லாமே கடவுள் தான் உருவாக்கல சொல்லி அப்படி நம்பிறது. அத வந்து அந்த கடவுள் ஒரு நீல கலர் கடவுள் வந்து ஒரு மயில் ரங்கை வச்சிருக்கான்னு சொன்னீங்களா? இது எப்படி வந்து கடவுள் நம்ம எப்படி ஏத்துக்கிறது? You come back. You come back. You come back. You worship some butter thief. You come back. You come back. We want to understand scientifically the principle how there, there, there is a personality of Godhead. அப்ப நம்ம வந்து இந்த மாதிரி விஞ்ஞானபூர்வமாக வந்து பகவான பத்தி ஒரு அந்தரங்க விஷயங்களை நம்ம தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அப்பதான் வந்து நம்ம வந்து மற்றவங்களுக்கு நம்ம அதை எடுத்து சொல்ல முடியும் இந்த முருடங்க எப்படி வந்தது the mobile phone where is the mobile phone come from and ungalude kolai pesi adu eppadi vandathu adu yara seidirukkaranga somebody made it adu yara uruvaakirukkaanga right motor cars where did they come from ungalude motor vandigal eppadi adu vandathu come from a factory and in the factory there's many men who make them adu vandu oru tholisaalil irundhu vandathu அங்க வந்து பல நபர்கள் அங்க வேலை செஞ்சு அதை உருவாக்குறாங்க Where did you come from? நீங்க எங்க இருந்து வந்தீங்க? Mother, yes. தாயில இருந்து வந்த நம்ம With the help of the father, then தந்தையோட உதவி மூலமாக நம்ம உருவாக்கி வந்தோம் தாய் தந்தை மூலமாக. And what about your mother and father? Where did they come from? உங்க தாய் தந்தை எப்படி வந்தாங்க? So we can go back and back and we will come to <laughs> the eight man eight man eight man nige mari public pedal paint edikinaaka inga varta yeah you you came from the cave man <laughs> <laughs> I 
But there, who was the original person? Yar at the Mughalal, Nabare. God. Was he? Was he? I thought Brahma was the original person. Brahma the Karula Brahma. Brahma is the, the first person. Right? So we, we have to understand everything has a there's a, a creator behind everything. We look at a big city like Kuala Lumpur or Penang, it's a big city and it has a lot of, uh, there's a lot of infrastructure there. You have roads and you have schools and you have colleges and hospitals. And then they have so many, uh, they have electric supply everywhere and they have water supply everywhere, every house and over we took a month current over we took a tanni and there's so many arrangements to keep law and order and to control the traffic, there's so many things. So who made it all? Who set it all up? God. There's intelligent people. Right, you have a government and you have intelligent people there behind everything. You have the different government offices and you have intelligent people running everything and organizing everything. And they make sure there's always enough food in the, in the city for everyone, that everybody can get food to eat, the vegetables, the fruit, all the different things that are all available for everyone, enough for everyone. So who arranges all of that? It takes some intelligent people to organize everything. In the same way, there has to be some intelligent person behind the universe. Because when you look at the universe, you see there's also a lot of design and there's a lot of order in the universe. What is there? What, what designs do you see in the universe? What are the indications of a, a designer, a creator from the universe? We will ask the ladies. What? Ah, the world is going around the sun in its orbit. The world, all the, the plant, the, all the planets are going around the sun, right? In a, in a very systematic arrangement. Every day, you know what time the, go the sun is going to rise and you know when it's time for the sun to set. And we even know in the course of the year, this, we get sometimes at a certain point in the year we go closer to the sun and another point in the year we're moving away from the sun. 
அந்த ஒரு வருஷத்துல சில நேரத்துல வந்து இந்த பூமி வந்து சூரியன் கிட்ட போகுது சில நேரத்துல சூரியன் வந்து கொஞ்சம் தூரத்துல வருது and that when we're moving away from the sun then it's winter when you're moving closer to the sun it's summer namba surya kitta pomode adu vail kalama varudhu surya nil konda dooram pomode adu kulir kalama varudhu and the, the presence of the sun is also a very important factor to show the the, the, the design of the universe appa and surya nil konda lavaru vandu irukkaru வெளிச்சம் the warm and also we can we can cook and do things like that all coming from the sun surin irkarnala nammala kanna theriyudhu nammala samikkumadiyudhu nammala indha mari indha oligal irukku nammukku and the vetpam irukku and you can see the planets they're moving very carefully in orbit they don't run into each other you never hear about the sun running into the moon and crashing இந்த புலங்கள் எல்லாம் வந்து எல்லா லோகங்களும் வந்து அந்த சூரியன் அழக சுத்தி வருது ஒண்ணு வந்து வந்து ஆக்சிடென்ட் பட்டு உடையல த மோட்டர் பைக் மே ரன் இன்டு தி புரோட்டான் கார் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஒரு வாகனம் வந்து ஒன்னர வாகனம் பண்ணி இடிச்சு உடையலாம் ஆர் தி பிஎம்டபிள்யூ கார் மே ரன் இன்டு தி மெர்சிடிஸ் கார் பிஎம்டபிள்யூ வந்து மெர்சிடிஸ் பெனன் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ஆகலாம் பட் யூ நெவர் ஹீட் அபௌட் the sun running into venus or mars or the planets crashing with each other and the mari suryan vandu guruvoda vandu illa over logalo vattamatta logangaloda the mari idi padradhaga namba kelli padradhula all the planets are moving very carefully controlled orbit and the mari over logangalum vandu namba kattupatta nelayila vandu alaga sutti varudhu so who's controlling who's the driver அப்ப இந்த லோகங்களோட டிரைவர் யாரு இது பின்னால யார இதெல்லாம் வந்து நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கா காட் தேர் மஸ்ட் பீ சம் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் பீயிங்ஸ் அப்ப இதுக்கு பின்னால ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு அறிவாளிகள் இருக்காங்க we wouldn't just say god he's not he's not doing everything நம்ம உடனே கடவுளுன்னு சொல்லிர கூடாது எனக்கு எல்லாமே கடவுள் செய்யறது இல்ல பட் தேர் ஆர் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் தேர் ஹையர் பீயிங்ஸ் இதுக்கு பின்னால வந்து பெரிய வந்து ஒரு நபர்கள் இருக்காங்க அறிவாளிகள் அவர்கள் இத செய்து கொண்டிருக்கார்கள் ரைட் வாட் டு वी கால் देम இவர்களை என்ன நம்ம சொல்லுவோம் இவர்களுக்கு என்ன பேரு தேவதாஸ் தேவாஸ் யா தி தேவாஸ் இவங்களுக்கு நம்ம தேவர்கள் என்ன நம்ம சொல்லுவோம் தி ரெசிடென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஹையர் பிளானட் தே தே ஹெல்ப் இன் தி அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் தி யுனிவர்ஸ் இந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தோடைய நிர்வாகத்தை அவங்க தான் வந்து பார்த்து கொள்றார்கள் and there are many universes and the mari nariya prapanjagala nariya irukindrathu so there's a lot of work appo nariya velaigal eru irukindrathu porupugal nariya irukku there's many devas and they they each have the different responsibilities to look over the affairs appo over devar nariya devargal irukanga over devargalum over porupugala vandu yetukondu adai seidhu kondirukkargal so we want people to understand that you know some people think oh this is all nonsense this is bogus or oh, there's no elephant god there's no this this god that god that they, they, they don't like to accept all of these things silarukku vandu indha mari pidikadhu oh yaane mugunga eppadi kadavula indha mari irukanga indha kadavula andha kadavula idhula naanga nambrathu kadaiyadhu appdi sila solalam but we explain that there are intelligent beings there has to be some intelligent people behind this creation ana namba velaki sollala inda prabhatathu punnala inda inda padipukku punnala oru arivaligal irukkargal endru so some people you know they're very stubborn they're very thick headed they can never understand these things ana silar vandu indha mari vandu arivu mandha ullavargal irukkaga அவங்க இதெல்லாம் ஏத்துக்கவே மாட்டாங்க இவ்வளவு தான் நீங்க எடுத்து வளைக்கும் சொன்னாலும் there a bit like you know the, there's this one bird it, it's the the ostrich 
you know they they bury their head in the ground ostrichindu oru kurivi irukkirathu adha enna seiyanaaka adha thalaiye vandu mannukulla vandu kunnu vechukom and the hunter comes to shoot the bull appo and the vetrakaram vandu adu odni sutruva sometimes the rabbits they don't like to see that they will cover their eyes aslatha adhe maradha rabbit irukke அந்த முயில் அந்த முயில் வந்து இந்த மாதிரி சினத்த கண்ணு மூடிக்கும் ஆபத்து வந்தாக்கா and you think oh, there is no hunter there கண்ணு மூடிட்டாக்கனக்கா அந்த வேட்டக்காரன் வரவ இல்லைட்ட அது நினைச்சுக்கும் because the rabbit is sitting like this covering the eyes அது கண்ணு இந்த மாதிரி மூடிக்கிட்டனால ஓ வேட்டக்காரன் இல்லைட்ட அது நினைச்சுக்கும் so the the hunter just shoots the rabbit அப்புறம் அந்த வேட்டக்காரன் வந்து அந்த முயில் குடிச்சு சுத்துவான் in the same way materialistic people they like this blind animal நம்பரி இந்த பௌதிக பாதிகள வந்து இந்த மாதிரி தான் இந்த மாதிரியான குருட்டு குருட மாதிரி உள்ள மிருகங்கள் மாதிரி they don't want to see they don't want to see the truth உண்மை என்னன்னு அவங்க பார்க்க விரும்ப மாட்டார்கள் they even you show them in front you give them proof oh no no i can't believe this no i don't accept இந்த மாதிரி ஆதாரங்கள் கொடுத்தாலும் வந்து அவங்க சொல்றாங்க இல்ல இல்ல என்னால ஏத்துக்க முடியாது இதெல்லாம் எப்படி உண்மை இல்ல இதெல்லாம் சொல்றாங்க So actually what should we do with these people best thing we can do with them leave them alone you will never say no namba vandu avanga uttittu poi poi vendida because they, they don't want to hear avanga vandu idha kekkuradhukku avanga viruppu illanaala avangala disturb panna venda avanga uttittu poi irunga if you try to preach to them they just become more offensive நீங்க அவங்க கிட்ட பிரச்சாரம் பண்ண முயற்சி பண்ணீங்கனாக்கா அவர்கள் உள்ள வந்து ரொம்ப தீவிரமாயிடுவாங்க and if they become more offensive then it's really bad for them அவங்க இந்த மாதிரி இரவின் மேல ரொம்ப நிந்திச்சாங்கனாக்கா அது உள்ள அவங்களுக்கு கெடுதி ஆகும் so we have to be careful about who we share knowledge with அப்ப யார்கிட்ட வந்து இந்த ஞானத்தை நம்ம வந்து பகுத்துக்கறோம்னு நம்ம கவனமா இருக்கணும் we want to find the people who want to hear யார் வந்து கேட்க விருப்பம் உள்ளவர்களுக்கு உற்சாகம் உள்ளவர்களுக்கு மட்டும் நம்ம பிரச்சாரம் பண்ணலாம் the interest they have questions அவர்கள் நிறைய கேள்விகள் இருக்கும் right if they have questions we can give the answers அவங்க கேள்விகள் இருந்தாக்க நம்ம கதை பதில் நம்ம கொடுக்கலாம் right you can give all the answers isn't it அவங்களால பதில் கொடுக்க முடியுமா you can you doing bhakti shastri நீ பக்தி சாஸ்திரி செய்றீங்க you can give all the answers அவங்களால பதில் நிச்சயமா கொடுக்க முடியும் you've got the bhagavad gita you've got the books you can give them the knowledge உங்களுக்கு பகவத் கீதை இருக்கு உங்களுக்கு புத்தகங்கள் இருக்கு நீங்க புத்தகங்களை கொடுக்கலாம் that's all it's all there it's all in the books அந்த புத்தகத்துல எல்லா விஷயங்களும் ரகசியங்களும் இருக்கின்றது Of course, not everybody likes to read books, of course. But if you, if you just hear regularly, if you come and associate with the devotees and hear regularly, then that's as good as reading the books. But of course, you have to hear from the devotees here from people who have read the books appo yaar pustakal padichirukkaravulo avungitta ninga indha mari sevi koduthu kekka vendum they probably read the books from his guru maharaj and the other acharyas and probably had preached they gave many lectures propan vande avarude guru kitta irundha matha acharyalum irundha நிறைய செவி கொடுத்து கேட்டிருந்து அவர்கள் புத்தகம் எழுதியிருக்கார்கள் தொடர்ந்து பேசுவார்கள் நமக்கு எதெல்லாம் நம்ம கத்து கொண்டிருக்கோமோ அது அடுத்துவங்களுக்கு நம்ம பகுதிக்கணும் there may be many things we don't know but we can find out from other people நமக்கு தெரியாத விஷயங்கள் நிறைய இருக்கலாம் அது வந்து மற்ற பக்தர் வந்து கேட்டு நம்ம தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாம் we can always come and ask another devotee and they can help you உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இல்லனாக்க நீங்க மற்ற பக்தர்கிட்ட கேட்டு நீங்க தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாம் so devotees that we have that duty to to try to share whatever we know அப்ப நமக்கு கடமை இருக்கின்றது நமக்கு எதெல்லாம் தெரியுதோ 
And we have a lot to share. We have a lot to give people. You know, I went to college, I studied engineering, I got a degree, I didn't know anything. But when I went to the Hare Krishna temple in London, I thought the people there, they had much better knowledge and education than I had. And they were younger, younger than me and they'd never gone to college. And they hadn't studied much at school either. But they'd come to Krishna consciousness. And they were chanting the holy name and they, were, they had full faith in Prabhupada and in Krishna. And so I was I was impressed that they 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 knew more than I knew about the world and about life. And they were sitting giving lectures on Krishna consciousness. So it inspired me also to become a devotee and learn like they do. Spiritual life begins. Do you know how spiritual life begins? Who knows? How does it begin? Is it, is it by hearing the Maha Mantra from a devotee? Well, that's not really the beginning. Huh? Yeah, but that's still, you haven't begun yet. You may have association, you may not begin. Your, your spiritual life actually begins when you start to chant, when you chant the holy name. You may have association with devotees and you may hear the Hare Krishna mantra, but if you don't chant, if, you, if it doesn't come on your tongue, then your spiritual life hasn't really begun. You may be eating prasadam. That's good. Keep eating. One day, when you eat enough prasadam, one day you start to chant Hare Krishna. And when you start to chant the whole, the Maha Mantra, then your spiritual life has begun. So chanting is the beginning of spiritual life and it is the perfection of our spiritual life. Right, there's sadhana. Sadhana is a path, the process by which we become perfect. Right, we are doing sadhana here every day, every morning. It's our sadhana. Chanting, Mongo Arti, Guru Puja, 
Hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. All of this, this is all this is this is our sadhana by which we are becoming purified. And when we become siddha, when we become perfect, then we become siddha, become siddhi, our, our perfection. Our, and when we're perfect, we will also do these things. The perfect souls, they're also chanting Hare Krishna, they're relishing Srimad Bhagavatam. And the Parasitama Art Bakala. Everything is, is, it's all there, but the consciousness is different. We begin to chant Hare Krishna, we don't have much taste. But if you keep chanting, then one day you'll get the taste. And when you've got the taste, then you will, you will relish the nectar of the Holy Name. There's the example to help us understand. Rupa Goswami gives us a nice example. Do you know Rupa Goswami? Rupa Goswami He's not from Kulim. <laughs> and he doesn't speak Tamil. <laughs> and he doesn't speak Malay either. <laughs> or English. Our English what does he speak? Our inner Mali Peswade. Huh? Bengali Peswara. Bengali. Bengali. You speak Bengali? I don't know. Maybe. Well, actually, he was from Karnataka. Their family was originally from Karnataka and then they moved to Bengal. Our Kuruba was there, Arbatla Karnataka, and Darga. And then later on they came to Vrindavan. So he wrote in Sanskrit. Hmm. So Rupa Goswami tells us about the chanting of the Holy Name. It's a nice example. Listen carefully. All right, you're listening carefully? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever had jaundice? No. No? Am I the only one who ever had jaundice? We never had jaundice. Two, three, two, three, okay. No, we don't get jaundice here in Malaysia. Well, I went to India. India 1970s in Prabhupada's time. You were not born. <laughs> you were in some other body. You don't know where. Anyway, in India 1970s, it was, you know, quite different from how it is today. And uh, I came in the summer, I came to New Delhi, it was a month of April, May, very hot. 
அப்ப ஏப்ரல் மே வந்து இந்தியால வந்து கோடை காலம் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப உஷ்ணமா இருக்கும் ரொம்ப வெயிலா இருக்கும் ரொம்ப சூடா இருக்கும் அப்ப வந்து ஐம்பது டிகிரி செல்சியஸ் இருக்கும் ரொம்ப <laughs> 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 in the uh, in Europe or America and I came there to New Delhi it was very hot and you I, 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 America la nam vandiruka Delhi romba romba sooda irundhuchu appa so i was not used to the hot weather and the mariya the sooda la vand kaalathile enakku vand palakam kediyadu and i was not accustomed to drinking enough water adhe nethula na nariya thanniyum kudikka maatenaale so i got jaundice appa enakku indha mari manja kaamala vandu vittadhu I didn't know what I got. I went to doctor and doctor looked at me and said, "Oh, you got jaundice." அப்ப எனக்கு என்ன வந்தது தெரியல. அப்ப மருத்துவரை பாக்க போனா அப்ப மருத்துவர் சொன்னாரு உங்களுக்கு மஞ்ச காமாலை வந்திருச்சு சொன்னாரு. And so I said, "Oh, what do I do to get over it?" அப்ப நான் என்ன செய்யணும் கேட்டானே. The doctor said, "Oh, you just take some rest, take rest." அப்ப டாக்டர் சொன்னாரு நீங்க ரெஸ்ட் பண்ணா போதும்னு சொன்னாரு. So I went back to the temple and I was taking rest. But then this one devotee came and he told me, he said, look, I said, I'll help you get better. He said, you take this. He said, you take this sugar cane juice. So, do you like sugar cane juice? உங்களுக்கு கரும்பு தண்ணி பிடிக்குமா? Yeah, who doesn't like it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you don't like it? உங்களுக்கு பிடிக்காது கரும்பு தண்ணி? Yeah. Everyone, I like the கரும்பு தண்ணி நான் பிடிக்கும்ல. So I saw I also thought very nice. Yeah, yeah I like sugar cane juice. Oh, கரும்பு தண்ணி எனக்கு ரொம்ப ஓகே சரி கொண்டு வாங்கணும் சொன்னேன். So I got my big glass of sugar cane juice and I But when I drank it அப்ப அந்த பெரிய கிளாஸ்ல எனக்கு கரும்பு தண்ணி கொடுத்தாருங்க நான் குடிச்சேன் நான் கரும்பு தண்ணியை I taste it terrible what what meant something wrong with the sugar cane maybe அப்ப அந்த கரும்பு தண்ணி குடிக்கும்போது அது ரொம்ப மோசமா இருந்தது அதோட சுவை இதுதான் இதுதான் கரும்பு தண்ணி இதுنا வேற மாதிரி இருக்குன்னு நினைச்சேன் நான் I gave some sugar I gave some to the other devotee to taste this and see what do you think is it tastes okay to me it says no அப்ப அவங்களுக்கு கொடுத்தா நீ கொஞ்சம் குடிச்சு பாரு அப்படினு அவர் குடிச்சது நல்லா தான் இருக்குனு சொன்னாரு But when I'm tasting it, wow, it tastes so bad. It's like drinking motor oil or something. Ah, अपना नाम पढ़ी के मोड़ इधर ना जब बंदे यू नो अंद बंडी वाली है क्या नाम आये इधर तो आधा सुबह ही अब लोग मास्क मारते हैं. It was just terrible, horrible. Ah, अब लोग मास्क मारते थे, हाँ, अन्याय मारते थे. They said no problem is because you've got jaundice. Your liver is no good. You're not tasting the sweetness of the sugar can appo unga appa avar sonnar illa unakku vende manja kaamal irukke unoda yerilu vende kettu pona nalil irukke nee idu kudi i said oh, no i said i said i can't drink this he said no this is the medicine you have to drink it appa avar sonnar illa illa idu da adoda marundu and the manja kaamal adukku marundu vende inda indu karumbu thanni da kudi endu sonnar So every day they give me a big glass of sugar cane juice and every day I அப்ப தினமும் வந்து எனக்கு இந்த மாதிரி கரும்பு ஜூஸ் கொடுப்பாங்க அப்ப நானும் வந்து ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்பட்டு முடியாம குடிச்சிட்டு இருந்தேன் நானே but gradually gradually after a few weeks gradually every day after a few weeks then it start to become a bit better அதனாலோ படி படி படியாக ரெண்டு மூணு வாரம் கழிச்சு அது குடிக்கும் போது அந்த சுவை கொஞ்சம் மாறிச்சு சோ சாண்டிங் ஹரி கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் லைக் தட் ஹரி கிருஷ்ணா ஜபிக்கிறது வந்து இதே மாதிரி தான் we are like the people with jaundice நமக்கு அந்த மாதிரி மஞ்ச காமால பட்ட ஒரு நவர் மாதிரி we are chanting hari krishna but we're not tasting the sweetness அந்த கிருஷ்ணா நாமத்து ஜபிக்கறோம் ஆனா அது சுவைக்கு முடியல நம்மால we have got jaundice நமக்கு இந்த மாதிரி காமால வந்திருக்கு but our jaundice is 
materialism. Because we are in the body concept of life, we are thinking, I am the body. So we cannot taste the real nectar of the holy name. So what to do? You have to keep drinking. You have to keep chanting the holy name. And then gradually, one day, you will taste the sweetness. The holy name, it's described, it is like Chintamani. Mm, the holy name is it can fulfill all of your desires. Do you have any desires? Huh? You don't have any desires? No desires? Oh, you have desires? Yes. What do you desire? The nectar of the holy name, right? You desire to taste the nectar of the holy name. So, you have to keep chanting the holy name. And gradually one day you will get that real nectar. Gives one a taste of the full nectar for which we are always anxious. So, Lord Chaitanya has come to give us this message of the Holy Name. We have to take take that, that that holy name. We have to take it. We have to accept it. We have to chant, and we have to hope that one day we will taste that real nectar. We're all anxious. We want the nectar. Where is the nectar? Some people want bliss, right? Where is the bliss? Do you think there is bliss in the material world? Do you think there's any bliss in the, the working in the big multinational corporation? I was in New Delhi a few months ago and I met this young lady and she told me, she said, for, for years she wanted to work in a big company in Gurgaon, in New Delhi, where all the multinational corporations are. And finally she got the job in the big company. And she said, I was thinking, now I've, I've achieved, I've satisfied all my desires. Now I will enjoy the bliss. And she said it, that after working in that job for even a short time, it's unbearable. There's so much stress, there's so much competition, it's so hellish. So there's always the illusion of finding bliss in the material world. Hmm. Just like they say, you know, 
Don't walk under a bale tree. Do you know the bale fruit? You have bale here in Malaysia? Malaysia and Wilva Mararaka. You know, they're very hard, right? In the Wilva Palapatikanaka, number Kalamari Kopakrataki. So you walk under a bale tree, bale fruit falls in your head. Upon the Wilva Maraki and Anatikanaka, and the Kalamaria and the Palam and the Talal Ulitishna now. Oh, here they have durian. If you walk under the durian tree, the durian fruit falls on your head. <laughs> Go back to God here. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you have a bald head. <laughs> so you learn, you, we learn not to do these things, right? We, we, we won't walk under the bell tree, we won't walk under the Dorian tree. We don't, because we know these things can happen. So the same way we should learn what is actually good for our life. What is good for us, for our life, and what is bad, what is going to create trouble? So Krishna is guiding us, He is giving you the nice association. Okay, any question? <laughs> Questions come. Just now only Mara said. Uh, Maybe we give you peace. You must have curiosity, you must have to be intelligent, you must have questions. Sometimes you have to give pieces of paper that can write the questions on paper. You have to write the questions Yes. Uh, just now you mentioned that when we are dealing with atheists, the best thing to do is just to walk away. But as devotees, um, so is, if, if you cannot preach to them, is there anything that you can do to help them? Maharaj, you said that when we are talking about the past, we are going to talk about the past, we are going to talk about the past. Well, somebody is an atheistic and blasphemer, offender, it's better to avoid them. Better to just stay away from them because if you try to do anything with them, you try to convince them, they will just become more offensive. So, you can chant the holy name. If you chant the holy name, they become more offensive also to the holy name. Of course, we do go in the public and chant the holy name. We take that risk. We're not approaching anybody, take any one past person. We're giving the holy name to everyone. Some people don't like to hear the holy name. They can cover their ears. You know Gantakan? There's a person, Gantakan. You know Ganta? Be bells. So they put the bells on the ears. And then whenever Hare Krishna people come, 
<laughs> shakes the head, rings the bell. They won't hear anything. They're just hearing the bells. So there, there's, a, there's some people like Gantakar. They don't want to hear. What happens if we give them Prasadam Maharaj? Well, you don't know what they're going to do with it. That's the problem. Where can we go? Yes. So, Maharaj, if let's say we have some bad habits, and uh, for example, we like to speak bad words or foul language, um, how long do you think that we should chant to get rid of that? Well, I've seen I've seen people come to Krishna consciousness who spoke bad words and bad language, but as soon as I mentioned to them, as soon as I mentioned to them that it's bad words and bad language, then they immediately understood that they shouldn't use these words and it would just stop. It's really association. If you associate with people who use bad words and bad language, then you will start using them as well. <laughs> But if you associate with the devotees, devotees won't use bad words and bad language. And in fact, if you, you use bad words and bad language in the association of devotees, then they won't, they won't be shocked and they, they won't like it and they'll tell you personally that Please don't use words like that in our press. So we have to learn to train the tongue what what to speak and what not to speak. We want to cultivate the mode of goodness. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes that the mode of goodness means to speak words which are pleasing. But if you use bad language, vulgar words and so on, these words are not pleasing and these words are certainly the mode of passion and ignorance and they'll take you to hell. Who wants to go to hell? If you want to go to hell, just go on, keep using all the bad words and filthy language. Do you want to know what it's like in hell? There are hellish planets. It's very dark. It's very cold. There's no sun. 
You like to go there? You welcome. Go ahead. Keep using all your vulgar language. You'll go quick. You're already in hell when you use those words. And when you die, you will go there. And so should we should be very careful. What we do. People say, Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know there's anything wrong. Like people I didn't know it was wrong to eat me. I didn't know it was wrong to curse and swear and use vulgar language. Tell that to the judge. What's the judge going to say? He will sentence you all the same. You should have found out. You go to Yamaraj, you cannot tell Yamaraj, I didn't know. So Yamaraj has got his own ways to help you learn. <laughs> He's got all kinds of different hells to put you through. And you learn. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nantri. Uh, one more question. One more. One more. Last question. Uh, last question. Uh, some people think... Uh, some people believe God is true life. True life. And is that correct? Is that true? Some people think that God is light. So is this correct perception of God? Some people think that God is light. So is this correct perception of God? Well, light is one energy of God. In the, in the Bhagavad Gita chapter 10, Krishna says, I am the light of the sun and the moon. So that's one aspect of God, but there's a lot more to God than just light. Light is energy and energy comes from the energetic. The energetic is God. And God has many energies, many different energies. Light is just one of his many energies. Okay. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. Okay, Hare Krishna.